Receiving a diagnosis of celiac disease or gluten intolerance can be a shock that can come out of the blue. Even if you've made your own decision to abstain from eating gluten for various reasons of health, you may feel somewhat overwhelmed. You know changes are necessary, but how do you even get started? Understand that giving up some of your favorite food items is a loss, especially when you didn't expect it. Allow yourself some time to feel that loss. You want to deny what the doctor is telling you. He or she can't possibly be correct. Doctors make mistakes all the time. While you're in denial, however, you feel tired, uncomfortable, and continue reacting badly to wheat. You become angry. Who is someone to tell you that you can't go to your favorite pizza place? After you deal with the anger, you mentally try to bargain with yourself. Okay, so I may have celiac disease, but eating just one piece of cake at the party can't possibly hurt. When the truth sinks in, you are likely to feel depressed. My life is over. It may take a while, but acceptance finally sets in. You do some research and realize you can still eat what you want and do what you have always done. The only real change in your life will be that you begin to feel so much better than you have in the past. When you have shifted your mindset, you are ready to begin going gluten-free. Once you understand the health benefits of giving up that unrefined flour, it is doubtful you will be seriously tempted to go back to the old, glutinous ways of eating. Going gluten-free is a lifetime commitment. Do some research and learn how wheat has changed from a life-sustaining food staple to a mangled grain that many people cannot process. The gluten in grain is actually making people sick. Rid your home of all gluten. Clean out the pantry, refrigerator, and check the bathroom cabinets for any items containing gluten. Check your pots, pans, and utensils to ensure that no cross-contamination occurs. Gluten can attach itself to many items in your home. Learning how to navigate the supermarket aisles when shopping will help you stock up on fresh, healthy food items and avoid dangerous temptations. It's important to always have a few staples on hand for quick meals and snacks. This will keep you from reaching for something that can ultimately make you ill. Plan your meals before you shop to make sure you have the necessary ingredients on hand. Just because you are eliminating gluten from your diet doesn't mean you can't continue socializing and eating out with friends and family. Many restaurants these days are able to accommodate a gluten-free diet. Check out local eateries and ask about their food preparation process. When dining at the home of friends and family, don't expect them to change their eating habits for you. They may try, but they may not know what to do. If in doubt, eat something healthful before visiting and concentrate on enjoying the company. Don't hesitate to discuss your dietary limitation when the subject arises. If you begin a gluten-free diet without knowing exactly what the diet entails, you could be undercutting your efforts. It's not just about eliminating breads, cookies, and cakes. Gluten can lurk in many foods, so learn to read labels with great care. Make sure your diet isn't nutrient-deprived by eating plenty of fresh produce each day. Eat a wide variety of foods to enjoy the best possible nutritional advantage. Even as you feel better and more energetic, you may still have moments of feeling deprived. That is perfectly normal. Learn daily habits that let you deal successfully with negative emotions. Adding exercise and new activities to your routine will expand your lifestyle and keep you from focusing only on food. Many interesting studies are being done with gluten and children with ADHD and autism. More research is needed, but a number of tests have shown that removing gluten from the diet of children suffering from ADHD or autism has had an extremely beneficial effect. This is something that should be discussed with your child's pediatrician. Baking, which always entails using flours, can be the biggest gluten-free challenge. Learn about all the substitutions you can make to prepare your old favorite treats and the best cooking techniques for gluten-free baking. You will be pleasantly surprised. Celiac disease and wheat allergies are painful. If you are gluten-sensitive, there is no reason for you to feel miserable. 
Take the necessary steps to rid your life of gluten and start enjoying each day again. This could be one of the most important health decisions you will make. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.